Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Today, I thought I would show you what I was doing on the homestead. I am making an apron, a Pioneer apron for myself. And um, this one will have a bib, but it will be, it will be pinned at the top with two little um, copper pins. Because that's the way the homesteaders did. That's the way the pioneers did in the pioneer days. And I'm doing this by my fingers. This little box pleat. Sometimes I do other pleats, but this is a box pleat. And here's the underside. As you can see, this material phrase out. It's muslin. 100% cotton muslin. Got a lot of uh, trimming to do. I've just put the... I just finished putting the pleats in and got it on the band. So I've got to snip up all these, I can't even get a hold of it, snip up all these um, things that's fraying off of it, and then put my ties on the side, put my bib on, and find me some little copper pins to pin it, and I'll be through. I just thought I'd let you see what I'm doing on the homestead today. Making an apron. This is like the one I have on the picture of my homesteading group uh, on Facebook and also YouTube. I have one of these aprons, but it's a lighter, a uh, little lighter material. This is a muslin, and that was just 100% cotton. And um, it's made the same way, but this one has little brown specks in it where the other one didn't. So, it's going to be a nice apron, I think. Thought I'd share it with you. Sitting here listening to some worship music. It's a Saturday morning. We had a wonderful service last night. We worship on the Sabbath, which is sundown Friday evening to sundown Saturday. I'm not Jewish. I'm not um, Seventh-day Adventist. I just am a Christian that believes in the Word of God, and I don't find anywhere where he changed the Sabbath. Matter of fact, he said to keep, it's the only day he said to keep, and to keep it holy. It's a day of rest, a day of worship, and I did this last night. I'm not working on it today. I did this last night. before we went to our Sabbath worship. And I will finish it. I can start finishing it this evening. Of course, I'm not legalistic. You do what you have to do on the Sabbath. The Word even says, you know, if your ox fall in a ditch, wouldn't you take it out, which would be work. So, uh, if you absolutely have to do something on the Sabbath. It's just a, the Lord loves us so much, He just wants us to have a day of rest. But, you know, if it's necessary to do something, you do something. But, like I said, we have not found, we've searched the scriptures many times and have not found anywhere in the New Testament, which we are New Testament believers. When Jesus came, He fulfilled the Old Covenant. And, um, the New Covenant is, uh, about the same commandments as the old as um, in the commandments that he gave Moses on the mountain he just writes them on our hearts now instead of tablets of stone and um, he put them into two which is love the Lord thy God with all your heart soul mind strength and your neighbor as yourself if you do those two things all the other commandments that he did in um, on the tablets are fulfilled so, I mean, you won't kill, you won't steal, you won't cheat, you won't, you know, lie, you won't do all the things that it says. So, um, but, it says to keep the Sabbath, and uh, he said the seventh day was for the rest, and Sabbath means seventh day, and the seventh day is Saturday. Always has been, always will be, and there's nowhere in the scriptures where he changed the Sabbath to Sunday which is the first day of the week. I think early Christians started worshiping because he rose on the first day of the week 
and um, he met with them. He, you know, appeared unto them and let them know that he was there. So somewhere down the line, they started uh, keeping the Sabbath as Sunday, which is the first day of the week. But uh, he said, I change not and to, to honor the Sabbath and to keep it holy. And that's the only day he did tell us to keep. So I think it's important to have a rest day and to do it on the day he said to rest. So that's what I'm doing on the homestead or what I have been doing on the homestead this week. thought I'd just share it with you while I was sitting here listening to some beautiful worship music. And we had a fantastic meeting last night. The Lord really showed up. And um, we're thankful for that. Because he said, wherever two or three were gathered in his name, that's where he would be. Because we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. As you know, we have home church. And we don't meet in uh, a building uh, specified as a church. Because we are the church. And um, actually, we go to our court square on the square right downtown and meet with several people under a tree and on picnic tables and take our Bible and we worship the Lord and sing and praise and and uh, preach. We, If the Lord gives someone a message, we speak it and he, he, we have several messages a, a night usually. And we just go till the Lord gets through. When he quits ministering through his people, for his people, by his people, then the meeting's over. We truly let God be God and He controls the service. We're just there to uh, worship Him and let Him lead and guide and teach us through the Holy Ghost as He said He would. And um, so that's what we was doing last night and I've come back and like I said I was doing this and picked it up and thought, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Hopefully I'll have this done. Like I said, I'll continue it tonight and have it finished in a few hours. So, maybe I will take a picture of it and put it on this video when it's through. So, till next time, this is Homesteading the Pioneer Way saying, keep homesteading.